Today on Nerd Out, Genesis Key Delegation. Welcome back to Nerd Out, the show where we take a look at Cardano and we break it down, but we don't dumb it down. Today we're talking about Genesis Key Delegation. This is kind of a follow-up from my video a couple of videos ago. Um, so let's jump into it here. So Genesis Key Delegation. First off, I have to eat some crow. So in my previous video, I said that IOG controls all seven Genesis keys. Uh, this is not correct. Uh, Charles rightly called me out in his, um, I believe it was the Mongolia AMA. Um, so they do not, well, and I think the question was, does IOG own all seven keys? Uh, Charles says, no, they definitely do not own seven keys. Um, that, is, that is correct. They own three keys. The Cardano Foundation owns two keys and Emergo owns two keys. So that's the ownership of the Genesis keys. Uh, there's also something called delegate keys. So the, the Genesis keys delegate to active keys that are considered the delegation keys. So IOG controls three of their Genesis keys and they own the Genesis keys for um, or they own the, the delegate keys for three of their gen Genesis keys, plus they own the delegate keys for two of the CF Genesis keys. And Emergo, I believe, owns their own and controls both their, their Genesis key and the associated delegate key. So IOG does still have complete control. They could change things by themselves if they wanted to because they have these delegate keys. But, and this is the key point, the CF can actually take back control of theirs if they choose to. They can do this um, at any time. And I'm sure there's legal agreements in place and, and other stuff that we're not uh, privy to for how this all works. But um, that's the main point is that currently CF is delegating their Genesis keys to IOG, but they could take back control if they want to. So just to set the record straight, after I did additional research on things and I learned a lot about this stuff. So um, this is how it all works. So how would the CF take back control if they chose to? So we're assuming that the CF owns their own private, um, private Genesis key file and uh, also the, the signing key and the verification key. So both of the, the public key and the private key. So the first thing they would do is they would generate a new delegate key so that the one from that IOG was holding would no longer be valid. So they run this this Genesis key gen delegate and this will create three new files that will create the Genesis delegate V key, which is the public key, and it will create a new uh, Genesis delegate S key, and then it will create a new operational certificate counter file. Uh, and that's this is kind of what those keys look like on this, the inside. Um, so they're called Genesis Delegate Operator Key. And there's a signing key file, verification key file, and then the counter which starts at, at zero. So that's the first step is getting a new set of keys that will take over operational control of the network from the old keys. Uh, the next step is to generate a new Genesis Delegation Certificate. And so in this step, they take their actual Genesis uh, V key file, so the public key of the, the actual Genesis key that CF, I believe, still holds, and then they pass in their newly generated V key file and also a, a VRF key file. I didn't show that step. but um, And then the out, output of that is a Delphic delegation certificate and it looks like this Genesis, Genesis key delegation certificate then all that's left to do is they run a transaction that includes this certificate and they have to sign it with the Genesis S key that the CF still holds uh, once that goes 
on chain. Maybe it takes an epoch, I'm not exactly sure. But at some point, the old delegation certificate, or the old delegation key that IOG still holds would no longer be valid at that point. And then any updates to things like protocol parameters, whatever, would require would be required to be signed by the new Genesis delegate S key file, uh, the, the private key uh, to make updates to the network. So that is um, a deep dive. I learned a lot on this, um, had to eat some crow along the way, but that's what we're all about here on this channel is continually learning about Cardano and diving deep. Um, final thoughts, the reason you're seeing this video probably on a Friday instead of my usual Saturday is because, da 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 da, happy birthday Shelly. Today is Shelly's birthday, August 29th. This is when we launched into the era of stake delegation and stake pools and all that fun stuff. It was the August 29th two years ago. So happy second birthday to the Shelly Network. And with that, nerd out.